guys, so today is day two of the lockdown in Congo. Guess what? Let me tell you the truth. The truth that the media is the hiding. The truth is she don't want to go to work. <laughs> Critical Minds with Rosa. I'm your girl Rosa and today I really really want to talk about the lockdown in Cornwall Courts, the so-called lockdown. All right, so the first thing I want you to know is that Friday afternoon it was announced via um, our media platforms that as of October 23rd at 6 p.m. to November 6th at 5 a.m the community will be under special area curfew now based on the fact that that particular date range was used everybody was of the impression that you know the place is gonna be on lockdown and so many people panicked was wondering how they're gonna get groceries and the likes however I want you to know something that the media has not been stating to date. This is day three of the curfew in Cornwall Courts. And as you can see, I'm on the road. I'm leaving work and I'm heading home. So just to enlighten you as to what is happening in Cornwall Courts, there has been some sensitization due to the fact that there has been an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases. And of course, because, you know, we are working on getting back on track when it comes on to our economy, the government is not going or moving towards a total lockdown. So as a result, we have a specialized curfew daily. It means that each day um, we would need to get in by 6 p.m. And so the curfew is from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. daily for the specified dates. October 23rd to November 6th, the morning of November 6th. So that is exactly what is happening. But my main concern, guys, and this is, this is where our Critical Minds family comes into play. I want you to tell me how effective you believe this particular curfew is because that is my main concern. I know the government is trying their best, you know, to keep us safe and to sensitize or you know citizens but how effective is it really considering the fact that we get to go out we get to mingle and go about our daily lives you know i do understand that the minister of health will be in the community for these days they will be going around um sensitizing or community members or neighbors <laughs> um on this particular initiative and the persons are encouraged and people I would really appreciate if you follow these instructions you are encouraged that if it is that you do not have to leave to stay home so if it's that you're not gonna leave for work or any you know emergency or anything important it is um, a request for you to stay home during this time re remain you know Remember social distancing and ensure that you follow our sanitization um, instructions. So that is in a nutshell what is happening in Cornwall Courts. People, again, I noticed the stigmatization has already occurred. Um, persons are being skeptical when it comes on to, you know, people who are living in the area. Again, anybody is prone to this particular disease and you can trust me to bring you the information live and direct without any bias i try my best not to be biased so that's really it as it relates to what's happening in cornwall courts at this time it is now 4 39 p.m and i'm heading home because i'm i'm scared i, I don't I, i'm scared of the police guys 
So I, I try to follow the rules at all times. So I'm heading home right now. And I hope you guys are keeping safe. Remember to sanitize. Don't forget to subscribe because you can depend on me, guys. You can depend on me to bring you the hot topics undiluted with critical thinking. This is Critical Minds with Rosa. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, I really want you to join the family. Check it. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>